हेलो फ्रेंड दिस इज संजय कुमार क्रिएटर ऑफ सेलेक्टर्स ऑफ एंड टेस्ट केसेज स्टूडियो रिक्वेस्ट यू प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल सो यू डोंट मिस एनी अपकमिंग अपडेट्स ऑन सेलेक्टर्स ऑफ टेस्ट केसेज स्टूडियो और एनी न्यू टूल फ्रॉम माई साइड दिस इज़ अ वेरी क्विक टूटोरियल विद ऑल द लेटेस्ट फीचर्स ऑफ सेलेक्टर्स ऑफ फोर डॉट ओ एंड इफ़ यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न ऑल अबाउट एंड वॉन्ट टू सी ऑल द फीचर इन डिटेल आई विल लीव द डिटेल टूटोरियल लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सो लेस कैसे स्टार्टेड आफ्टर एडिंग सेलेक्टर्स ऑफ इन यूर ब्राउजर यू विल सी दैट रिमूव फ्राम क्रोम इट्स वेरी सिंपल टू एड हेयर यू विल नॉट सी दैट सेलेक्टर्स ऑफ लोगो ऑन द टूल बार सो फॉर दैट यू विल हैव टू पिन द सेलेक्टर्स ऑफ लोगो टू द टूल बार दैन यू वुड बी एबल टू सी क्लिक हेयर यू विल सी सम डिस्क्रिप्शन हेयर After adding it, I would request you please restart the browser once, and then start using it or open the website in the new tab. Make sure you don't try Selector Sub or any plugin on the blank tab. There should be a Google dot com. So open any website, let's say Google dot com. Now where you will find the Selector Sub in Dev Tools, right click, click on Inspect. In the left side you will see the DOM. On the right side, couple of tabs will be there. Selectors sub will be the last tab here. Click on these two arrow icon and selectors sub will be here. This is how selectors sub UI will look like when you will open. By default, it will generate all the selectors for the inspected element. You see that this is the inspected element. Here it is generating all possible selectors for this element. Relative CSS selector, relative X path index, X path J query, J S path name, whatever is possible, all those things it will show here. And this will give you the best selectors out there compared to any other tool. Now, uh, suppose you want to uh, write your own X path for this element, for this inspected element. So here you can start typing. Selector sub will give you the auto suggest like in a smart editor. You can select this. As as you start typing, it will give you the suggestion. If you want to add more condition like and and or, then uh, of course it will give all those possible solution uh, options here. If you want to uh, write X X path with axis, yes, it will give you those options as well. Like here, suppose you want to add ancestor, whatever ancestor, following siblings, etc., will be possible. It will show you all those things in suggestion. If you will be like while writing or verifying X path, if you will do anything wrong, it will show you that what is missing, what you should not write, what you should not type. Everything here is the cheat sheet. You can refer to this one while writing X path. Suppose you want to save this X path in. uh somewhere then directly you can save it in selectors hub anytime you want to access just click here and you can access your save save x path here from here maximum 10 value you can save it here and to access them like you just click here it will copy and paste here and then you can verify so this is how you can use it as a editor you can write your css selector as well here start typing css and you see that it gives the css selector option along with your occurrences and you can this is how you can write the css selector as well and verify now you can also uh, here you see that if you doesn't want to see these auto generated selector you just want to use selectors of as a editor you can turn it off using this toggle like uh, it is giving the auto suggest while typing so if you don't want to see these you can turn it off this toggle now you will not see them so this is very smooth and easy you see that again if you want to see everything you just keep it on here this is an uh, button to generate selector and convert X path and CSS selector case insensitive. So you see that this S is capital, and you want to make them case insensitive. Click on this; it will make case insensitive selectors. This is uh, attribute filters, like it is generating with title. And suppose you want to generate with some other selectors, with some other uh, attribute, like let's say you want to generate with area label. So you pass this area label here, press enter, and then it will generate with area label. likewise like if it will generate x path like it is generating with class you doesn't want with class uncheck this it will generate without some uh, something else now uh, if you want to generate x path with the command there is a command feature here click on this button here you can pass the command you can of course for each feature detailed tutorial link has been added here so you can refer them any time and suppose you want like driver dot find element it could be anything anything your command could be anything of course and wherever you have written x path replace that with x path value hit enter you will get the complete command to uh, and whenever you doesn't want just keep it off you can keep it off ui will be simple to get this x path click here anywhere this area to copy this value you can also click here to copy this value if you want to edit this x path and verify click on this it will copy and paste the value here and you can verify this one so this is how you can uh, take the copy and edit these values suppose you want to generate x path multiple x path click on this multiple x path button here 
generate multiple x path and then start inspecting elements and you will see in selector sub all the x paths are generating here you can copy you can import in excel you can delete watch the detailed tutorial for this one it gives all those information here then suppose you want to uh, inspect some dynamic element which are like dynamic drop down which you can't inspect easily or which you cannot uh, like generate the x path like these kind of elements in that case what you do uh, there's a debugger button here click on that debugger button and make that element appear within five seconds and then you can like uh, selectors hub will hold them now you can inspect that element here and it will generate the x path and selector so this way you can verify like inspect and uh, generate the selector for such dynamic drop down elements once done click on this and then there you go next is like uh, smart maintenance suppose you want to verify multiple x path in single sort and you have the complete script and everything in that case what you can do here in selector sub click on this watch the detailed tutorial for this one i would recommend here you just uh, turn on that one button here suppose uh, you have the multiple x path paste there click on submit all the x path and everything will be verified for whichever page you want if you have the command there uh, in your script then you set that command and it hit enter if that command will find anything then uh, the similar command will find anything any selectors then in that case it will verify or else if it is x path only then click i would recommend please watch this detailed tutorial to understand more in detail if you want to generate and go back to the main screen click on the button again it will take you to the home screen if you want to generate x path and css selector with double quote like it is generating by default with single quote click on this it will generate with double quote you want to see all like you don't want to scroll then you can expand the view now you will see that all the selectors possible selector will show up front if you want to don't want to see all of them you want don't want to see these button you want to customize your uh, view then you have this uh, setting here click on this and like do, you don't want to see all of them these uh, uh, unnecessary i mean the selectors which are not required for you you can uncheck them you don't want to see these toggles and everything here you can uh, customize this and click back now you will be having very neat and clean ui as per your requirement anytime you want to go back to the default setting of selectors up click on this resort reset default setting and it will open with the default setting so this is how you can use the selectors up with all the features and everything this also selectors up also supports shadow dom nested shadow dom iframe svg as soon as you open and inspect selectors up it will if the element will be inside shadow dom it will show inside a dom it will give the complete script for that you can copy and paste in your uh, in your editor and use this script it will give all the information like this element is, is inside shadow dom it doesn't support uh, x pass so all those things you will get it here if element will be inside iframe it will give you the information that this element is inside iframe so uh, and as well as it will give you give you the uh, x path for iframe so you will not have to write that if iframe will be inside multiple uh, if i element will be inside multiple iframe then it will give you the information that this is inside two iframe one iframe each each and everything it will give you and it will show you that inside iframe if element is svg element then also it will show you that this element is svg element so uh, you will understand that okay this is svg element we cannot write the standard format of x bar. so all those things you will understand and learn from here this is going to really help you a lot and will save a lot of time for you you can also generate the another best uh, feature in selector sub 4.0 is that you can generate the x path with axis so suppose uh, you want to generate x path for this selectors like this element with respect to this element so first click on this axis button here first inspect the parent and then inspect the child so let's inspect the parent first with respect to which we want to write the x path for this element we want now inspect this element you see that it has generated i would request you that please watch this detailed tutorial to understand this feature in detail so this is uh, really amazing it has really incredible features in 4.0 we have introduced access xpath smart maintenance index xpath jquery and this ui configuration feature and lot more uh, customization has been done in an improvement lot more improvement has done in selectors of 4.0 i'm sure you love this feature and this will help you a lot please like and share share selectors up with the community let everyone know about this amazing tool and please uh, if selectors up is helping you in your job in your business please consider a small donation be a patron here 
शेयर लेक्टर्स एंड सपोर्टर्स थैंक यू थैंक यू